Hi there, this is Kevin with Gathering Magic and RogueDeckBuilder.com here with another match of the Immortal F Immortals of the Forge. Yes, we'd like to play first. This is a very keepable hand. We got Golgari Guildgate into a swamp. Uh, do need to find another land. We got double community gods to find the Perforos. No, we'd not like to mulligan this. And we do need to draw into one other non-swamp land. And we will be able to start casting these other a red source of course would be ideal so again it's going up against it looks like another blue blue red deck this is our blue black deck this is exactly what the deck is built to beat is a control deck so hopefully again a red source would be awesome here oh beautiful 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 so we could actually go we could actually go burning transmissary to commune of the gods but the best play here is just spike gesture it up and swing in So this deck just gets better and better with the more sets that come out. I'm hoping for a sack outlet in the two slot besides Timerit, but Timerit does work with this deck very well. So again, Stomping Grounds again allows us to, we can actually Burning Tree, Ash sell it, attack, attack, attack. So do we even need to? We go green, green. Yes, we do. So yes, we like to pay two life. Uh, green, green for the Burning Tree Emissary. And it adds a red, which then does Ash Thelet, which we're going to swing in for five. And he's going to ultimate price off the Ash Thelet. That's fine. And he's going to still take a three and go down to a 14. And we still have five power on board. So he's going to have to find some answers quick. We, we do have to eventually draw into that Immortal Servitude. Hopefully this will fill up our graveyard and not put an Immortal Servitude in the bin. Racto Shred Freak is great. We can actually Shred Freak and Commune with the gods. So it's going to be Racto Shred Freak. This is just a blue black controls nightmare. So he's going to be able to kill one of them with an ultimate price or Hero's Downfall. Yep. So he's still going to take four, go to a 10, and we get a Commune with the gods. No Immortal Servitude. No Moral Servitude. Yes, No Moral Servitude. We get to take Perforos. We find him. So I guess Commune with the Gods, we don't even need to really run. It finds creatures. Maybe I'll just go down to Grizzly Salvages. Because I this Grizzly Salvage finds a god too. I mean, the ultimate thing would just be, I wonder if there's a way. Maybe Read for the Bones is just better all in all. Then Commune with the Gods. I think I might try that. Desecration Demon. Okay. Would not like to sacrifice a creature here. We will play Perforos. And we got our Sack Outlet as well. So a whip is going to be problematic if he's got a whip. But if not, he is facing down some serious damage next turn. And I probably won't even sack a creature to him. Yeah, I will. Oh, come on. Oh, actually, I don't care. Because I'll still be at one, two, three. Do I do it? <sighs> we can commune with the gods to try to find Nash, sell it, and, and swing for the win. We'd sacrifice this guy to tap him down. Yes, we'd like to sacrifice. No, we. Yes, we would like to sacrifice a creature. No. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. He goes back up to 16 if I allow him. Yes, we got to sacrifice something here. And fortunately, it's going to be this Burning Tramissary. That we sack. Oh, well. We have to now draw into a double red sword or something with double red. Like an Ash Cell wins us the game. Racto Shred Freak actually wins us the game. So we Shred Freak here. Yep, that's exactly perfect. And actually, it's one to spare. So, no, we'd not like to sacrifice a creature here. 
and we'd like to declare attackers, and that should be game. Kaboom! Not bad, not bad. Turn turn six, not bad. He had a decent little hand here. He had a little surprising hero's downfall. So, Packrat seems decent versus him. So does Lot Literal, actually. I'm trying to one of Lot Literal main boarded. I am going to bring an Act of Treasons. Just because any deck that uses Abrupt Decay is going to have an Act of Treasons. I'm going to also bring in the Putrefies for the... Uh, to take out the community with gods. I don't know how I feel about this card actually. I might just go down to four grizzly salvages and we'll see. And maybe, again, these might be these might end up being read the bones. So we don't need to go guard charm, I don't believe. And we don't need abrupt decay. Lava troll is decent. Immortal servitude is awesome. And maybe I do want to go lot troll. I need mean, to start pitching stuff and have a, a regenerator that he can't deal with. Yeah, I think it's a little bit better in pack rat. So we need two cards that we need to cut. And I think I'm going to cut a land since I'm on the draw. And a... We'll go Grizzly Salvage. We'll submit this. Keep a hand, especially. The Grizzly Salvage can help me find stuff. Uh, we have all the lands we need. So we can ditch every land from now on. And we'll lead with the, the Blood Crypt because that will allow us to have Nash sell it. Oh, I should have led with the Golgari Guildgate. No, I still think Blood Crypt's the right way to go. Because it allows us to Grizzly Salvage or, yep, or play. And Ash sell it here. That was perfect. And he could get ultimate priced. Sure thing if he does. If he doesn't, that's two damage. Nice. Gets in there for the two. That's all I really want out of him is two and a two and a card would be great. He's gotta he's gotta make some decisions here now. There's a Night Vale Spectre. Ugh. Not liking that. It's going to give him card advantage. There's our Immortal Servitude. That was the best thing in the entire world to draw into. Because now we can actually just Grizzly Salvage here. And get all creatures? Oh! There's my Act of Treason. But we will take... I'm thinking the last Out Loud Troll. We're going to take him. And that way, next turn, we'll ditch them all to the last Out Loud Troll. We'll, we'll ditch the Seder Hedonist. We need a Temerit in our graveyard now. And yes, this Night Vale Spectre is going to give him... So actually, this is the bl this is a black deck. Did he even use any blue last game? He did. So this might be just mono black. Again, with blue in for what? Oh, come on. Ah, that damn card. Thassis gets my Immortal Servitude. That changes everything. <sighs> okay. So... Yeah, it gets Immortal Servitude. What a dick. Okay, that's going to that's gonna screw up my combo. But no Desecration Demon is going to come out this turn. He's going to be able to get in for two if he wants to get in for two, but then he takes some more damage. He doesn't. Okay, so that's fine. And that, that still costs him two life to take that Immortal Servitude out, and he misses a land. I'm okay with that. I won't, won't cry too much because Lot Literal comes out. And now I can start, I can keep regeneration mana up for Lot of the Troll. And I can actually get him up pretty big, up to a 5-4. Five, five, uh, so Desecration Demon can come out here. That will be problematic if he does. Let's see if Night Vale Spectre actually attacks this time. It does. So it's going to give him card advantage. I do have Putrefies in here somewhere. He gets a Shred Freak, which he can cast. And that does help his devotion, too. Ah! What is this nonsense? Desecration Demon comes out. Okay. I'm okay with that. I'll actually keep up a Seder Hedonist. So we're going to discard a card. And discard a card. And I can use that at any, any time. So, ugh. Did not want to see that. I mean, it can tap down a Seder Hedonist with his and get in there for six or we can just wait till next turn to do that <sighs> yuck I can sack, sack down an ash zealot to get in there for four no I'm just going to cast the satyr hedonist that thought sees two games that thought sees has ruined me Arr. okay so we'll put this play tapped and unfortunately 
No, we'd not like to let that come down because we're gonna sacrifice Satan, Seder Hedonist to tap that down. He's got the he's got the Shred Freak now. One card in my deck that he can cast. One, two, three, four, five. We got five creatures in the bin. Yes, we'd like. Yes, we'd like to sack a creature. Tap that guy down. Oh, act of treason! You're so lovely. Hopefully not a a gray merchant. Blood crypt. Ah, come on! Oh, we played a land already though. So hopefully I can actually putrefy that stupid thing off. It's gonna be gray merchant here. Yes. All right. So I'm gonna take a ton of damage. Go to seven. And immortal servitude. You're joking me. All right, so we're going to be able to attack in with the Lotlith Troll. And I'm sure he's got another Grey Merchant in his hand. So we're going to get just pummeled by the drawing of lands this game. Um, at this point, do I put anything in? Sure, I'll put it in. And we have to tap down the Desecration Demon again. Plays my Blood Crypt. But Immortal Servitude, a top deck Immortal Servitude does get me back in this. I mean, I do have limited life here from the Grey Merchant and the Night Vale Spectre. Another Shred Freak. Come on. Stop this Shred Freak nonsense. Another Nightfill Spectre. And he's going to cast a Shred Freak. Why did he not cast that? Oh, well. So the only thing I can top deck into... I can't really top deck into anything here. I'm just dead the next turn, but I get a Swamp anyway. Wow, let's draw four lands in a row again. Let's see here. So nothing for a while. Okay. Again, I like this. I like this start, though. Abrupt Decays are going to come in for those... those well, I hate to just put Abrupt Decays in for just Night Vale Spectres when I have Putrefies and Act of Treasons that both work very well. Well, Act of Treasons actually doesn't help me with the Night Vale Spectre. Uh, maybe I do need to go this, though. Maybe I do need some Abrupt Decays. What else could it kill, though? The only thing I can think of killing is Night Vale Spectre and, oh, uh, it could actually kill his, his Underworld Connections. So maybe that is a little bit better than... Take out one Murder King... And I'm going to just leave two of those in here. And I guess the lot of the trolls aren't as good as I thought they were going to be. So we'll bring in both We'll bring in both abrupt decays. All right, so this way. Yes, I'd like to play first. Uh, I'm going to keep this hand. It's very good. We can go a guild gate into a spike jester. Hopefully he doesn't have thoughtsies, thoughtsies, thoughtsies. If he has thoughtsies right now, I'm okay with that. If he doesn't have thoughtsies, and I draw into moral servitude... This hand will be pretty good because it's got double hasters. Okay, no. Okay, there's no uh, thought seize. Okay, enough of these lands. We've we've we we have it, wizards. We've we know we draw lands when we keep four land hands. That we we get that Magic the Gathering online. All right, so the best thing here would be a blood crypt for the double black. And we spike Jester. Swing in. There's threes down to a 17. The cure is really good. Freakus cure is extremely good here on turn number two. But again, this is the problem with Monoblock Devotion. A lot of times it doesn't really have anything. He could have like an ultimate price in his hand. What the hell? Enough of this. Oh, this is getting... Sorry about the frustration. This is getting a little bit ridiculous though. With, I, you know, I keep four lander and draw double lands. And this has happened so many games in a row in my last videos that just getting a little bit flustered. Okay, so cast the Brutal Trimissary. Devour Flesh is my Spike Jester, sure. Gives me life. I sell it. He's down to 15, but again, I've got three lands in my hand. It's That's going to be the difference between winning and losing in this game was the drawing into three lands. Just worst feeling ever. Uh, let's see here. I have to draw into like, 
A Grizzly Salvage not finding an Immortal Servitude is what I have to draw into, especially if he gets a Night Vale Spectre here. Which he does. So Abrupt Decay will be fine because then I can get in there for four. <laughs> well, you can't win games like this. It's impossible. Now, he's going to uh, hit me with an Ivil Spectre and find a non-land. He's going to find my Immortal Servitude. Plus, Desecration Demon is probably going to come out here. Spike Jester, which would have been a great draw. Doesn't have a demon. There's another Ash Zealot, but at this point, ugh, it's just... These are such weak cards. Especially five cards in his hand. Maybe he has all lands in his hand, too. What's the... What's the... Uh, no, it's ultimate price. Ultimate price, and he's going to take two. Watch this. Oh, even worse. A cure and another cure. Wow. Okay. He takes two and takes a net damage of nothing. So, again, Immortal Servitude will be nice eventually when we draw into it. But this, this Night Vale Spectre is just getting him too crazy of damage, especially when he's hitting non-lands with it. Uh, let's see. He's going to be able to scry into something he needs for the following turn. He is running a lot of removal, and I could care less about that if I can draw into the Immortal Servitude. So it is definitely, 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 Community of the Gods is going to come out, read the bones, come in. 100% that's what's, what the, what the right, right move is going to be. Tamara, he still can't cast it. See if he does have a Desecration Demon. He has another Night Vale Spectre. I've got Abrupt Decays in here somewhere. And these, when they die... Exile cards, exile top cards, you may play cards. They stay exiled, I do believe. So that is pretty bad. Act of Treason could allow me to cast something. And at this point, it might be the right move to just act a treason on. Or do I wait for a Desecration Demon and try for the win? I, th I think I'm just going to act a treason it. I'm going to keep up as much black mana as possible. Well, yeah, because he, I can't draw on anything red. We're going to act a treason is his Nivel Spectre. This will actually help him, though, if I don't get something like an Underworld Connections. <laughs> I get a Mutavault. At least I can play that, though. And unfortunately, that helps him get a land out of the way that he could draw into. He's going to get double Nightfill Spectres here. Land, land? Just one time? A swamp. Yes, that's one land. Awesome. And a grizzly salvage. That's cool, too. So I'm definitely okay with that. <laughs> Are you joking me? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> but at least we get a... I don't want him to have that. So put that on the bottom. Activate Immutavault. He's down to a seven. Hope he has Thought Seas. Draw some Thought Seas and use them. He looks like he's a bit land flooded too, but I mean he... He can actually... Nope, Swamp's not going to help him. That was one land that won't help him. Plus, he played a land this turn. Go down to a four. A Grey Merchant just kills me. But if I draw into Mortal Servitude, he dies. Seder Hedonist and Temerit. Temerit would have been nice. I've got maybe one turn to live. No Grey Merchant. Desecration Demon. That's risky. If I draw into an Act of Treason, he's, it's dead. If I draw into Mortal Servitude, he's dead. If I draw into, I have a couple of outs here. Oh, look at that. Sometimes you get what you need. All right, sweet. So, boom, 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 boom. Yay, so we live to see another day. And... We can 
Activate this. And I'm actually not out of this. He could have a cure in his hand. Okay, declare attackers. I'm going to actually... Yes, you'd like to... No, I don't care about tapping that down because he can block three, one, two, three, four, five. No, we'd not like to sacrifice a creature. Yes, we would. Yeah, we'll sacrifice a burning tramissary. He's got a freak cure. No, okay, awesome. So we t we pulled that out with the Immortal Servitude. Exactly what this deck's supposed to be, a top deck Immortal Servitude. Top deck Act of Treason would have done the same thing. But not bad. Not bad at all. And did I, did I misplay that big time? Do you know what? Let's go back to the game here. I'm going to call it before you guys call it. I should have... Why did I act a treason the, the Nightville Spectre that was tapped already? And then... Oh, I, I wouldn't be able to get in for two more damage. But I could have casted the... Didn't he have something under it? Under the, the Nightville Spectre? I'll have to check that out. That actually could kill... The, that I could have cast. So I could act a treason the Nightville Spectre. And have like a Spike Jester. So maybe that would have been the right play. Oh well, that actually ended up working out for me. We won a pack there.